an old wooden mansion that turns on its inhabitants. A dissection class with a most unusual subject. A funeral where the dead are definitely not laid to rest. Ranging from the terrifying to the comedic, from the erotic to the loathsome, these stories showcase Junji Ito's long-awaited return to the world of horror. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. If you have noticed, I like my horror comic books and manga, and I love Junji Ito. So I am reviewing every single thing that the man has done, or at least stories that have been collected in hardcover or softcover or whatever that's been collected so far. So yeah, I did uh, Uzumaki, Tomie, Gyo, all that stuff. I had to continue the trend and I went back and picked up fragments of horror. I'll say it right now, it's not the best work from Ito, but it's probably my favorite after Uzumaki. I friggin love this book. I, uh, when I first got it the other day, I read a few pages and I was so hooked on it that I just, I said, you know what, just screw it, I'm gonna read the whole thing right now. It was that fun, it was that awesome. This one is more satirical and more comedic compared to other stories where like Tomie really took itself seriously, especially Gyo with its silly premise, and Uzumaki was just a masterpiece in my opinion. This is more lighthearted and it ranges instead of like full on horror creepy freaky moments this goes into more like oh that's really messed up and then it goes on into other stories some are funny others are quite scary and others are more kind of gross so yeah this is a more light-hearted read uh, it's still got that uh, shock body horror that people have uh, come to love from Ito but I gotta say, it is fantastic. There are a bunch of stories in here that I really recommend. Stuff from, and I kid you not, from people having sensual experiences with houses, to horrifying monsters chasing after people, freaks that like uh, being dissected, you've got uh, ghostly apparitions living with residents in houses, you've got, um, stories that range from the bizarre into like the saw movie territory but not so gory yeah it, it's got a little bit of everything and that's why it's called fragments of horror and i i know that he took a break and came back with these stories and they're not like the best stuff out there and you're gonna be a little bit disappointed because if you've read the previous works like Uzumaki uh, those were just sensational this is more lighthearted like I've mentioned a couple times now so you might be uh, put off a little bit by it but stick with it because I, I, I promise you it's totally different than what you're used to plus there's this uh, I love the idea that it's short horror stories with Gyo and Tommy 8, some of the things I didn't like about those books were the fact that they were so long because they kept focusing on these characters and their adventures on this singular topic. And I think the forte when it comes to Ito is when he does short stories. And I love short stories. I'm a huge fan of that format. And this book is just the right thing for me. Some of the characters actually intersect in other stories, which I appreciated because... Um, they were fun and, and, and they interconnect. I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, wait, this guy is from that other story at the beginning with the futon mattress. Yes, uh, and uh, but that gets resolved and when we and we move on to something completely different. And I just want to show you guys something really cool. Of course, there's the usual uh, there's the usual art when it comes to Ito. And I just want to freak you out for a little bit with this panel right there. I don't know if you can see it. But, oh my god, this was terrifying for me because I have silly uh, ideas that one day I'll wake up and I'll see the shadow thing and I'm gonna beat my pants. It's that kind of 
thing where you the more you think about it the more you're creeped out instead of like being like whoa what is that you know it's that type of horror element I, I, I don't know I just uh, I really dug it as you can see fantastic detail with the facial expressions and really really trippy visuals like that you're gonna have to read on to find out why the house has eyes and they're not shotting guns I'll tell you that much one of the cool things about this book is that if you shine a light let's see if you see all of that you see all those drawings and etchings and all that stuff it goes to the back as well as you can see it's pretty it's a pretty freaky book <laughs> and you take the dust jacket off and you get this radical image right there like of all these crazy monsters and demons and stuff that's really freaky and that is from a panel at the beginning of the book and I'm gonna eh, I'm gonna spoil it don't worry about it but really you should be checking it out this is like this image right there from the book is this thing right here uh, just fantastic overall I really enjoyed this book there's not much I can say because I don't want to spoil the individual stories but Ito to me is a special treat I love this weird type of uh, mystery and terror that he brings to his stories with human characters like yeah they're humans but they're real like like you feel their anguish and their pain and he writes them in a very uh, unique way when stuff hits the fan you kind of feel for the characters because he takes a moment to set up these guys and girls and then when stuff happens you're like oh my god like how is this happening or how will they escape or stuff like that so he makes you care about certain characters whether it be like a short story or not actually the last two stories the one with the shadowy figure that i showed is probably one of my favorites overall it is so twisted and demented and the implications of that one alone crossing from horror to monster territory to time uh, hijinks it, it has everything and I really recommend it just on that story alone so yeah if you're an Ito fan this is a must own for your collection fragments of horror awesome stuff guys thank you so much as always for liking commenting and subscribing here to we can geek them we're on our way to a thousand subscribers and I am so thankful because of people like you that allow me to make videos where I can entertain you with my take on books and movies and all that stuff and if you're worried if you're asking yourself, hey, he constantly says that he's doing movie stuff. I was, but during, you know, this whole situation I'm where I'm at at the moment, I don't feel comfortable talking about movies in its entirety, but I will do so in uh, in the near future, so stay tuned for that. As always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform. I'm just going to pimp out some... Uh, fragments of horror just type a week and geek them on your favorite social media platform and i'm probably there uh guys that's it i gotta go thank you so much i'll catch all of you on our next video We're going to, to the world of horror